Բարձեն սարկերակի եթերով որվա թեմանը իմ այս սորվա հյուրերն են ամերիկյան հայկական ազգային անվտանգության ինստիտուտի հիմնադիր նախագա ամերիկայի միացյալ նահանգների բանակի պաշտոնատող գեներալ մայոր Մարկ ջոն Մակարլին եւ նույն ինստիտուտի համահիմնադիր փոխնախագա Ապո Չապարյանը Բարձեն սարկերակի շնորհակալություն հրավերն են ունենում Բարձեն Appreciate it and uh, that's a wonderful way of beginning our conversation about what we consider at ANSI, and that's the American Armenian National Security Institute's present work uh, with the Republic of Armenia here in Armenia. Shonagalink Harabeli Amar, Yevsa Shadlov Skispe Merzurutsin, Minchmen Kabadrastrink, Hayastani Harabedutian. օկտին այս վարժանքները իրականացնել Ես էլ շնորհակալ սկսենք մեր զրույցը նախ սկզբի համար խնդրեի ներկայացնենք ինչ է իրենից ներկայացնում ամերիկյան հայկական ազգային անվտանգության ինստիտուտը ինչի ինչ նպատակով է ստեղծվել This is I have to do my arithmetic This is the fifth engagement ANSI Սա հինգերորդ առակելությունն է, որ ամերիկյան հայկական ազգային ավանական ինստուզը իրականացն է Հայաստանի հառավերությանություն։ almost immediately after the difficulties the catastrophe of the 44 day war and over the last if i do my counting correctly it's almost three years Uh, over those three years, uh, ANSI, with the assistance and support of Armenian Americans and as well Armenians throughout the diaspora and a very significant number of non-Americans and non-Armenians. Եվ ընդհարավես սպիրք հայության աճակցության եվ ինչու չեր նաև ոչ հայ ամերիկացիներու աճակցության շնորիվ այս կազմեկվություն սկսած է լուրջ կորձուներթյուն ձավալին։ Եվ ամերիկացիներությությությությությությությությությությությությությու of Armenia's and Artsakh's borders. Ուրեմն այս կազմեկվության առաքելության հիմնական առանցքը այն է, որ զորակցի, աճակցի Հայաստանի հանրավիտության, ինք նիշխանության, հանգախության և բաշմանության։ And while ANSI was born out of the difficulties that resulted from many mistakes that occurred as a result of uh, decisions in the 44-day war. We individually have been involved in Armenia and Artsakh's national security and military security for years. Ուրեմն այս կազմերիվության զնունդը եղավ իբատասխան այն պազում թժվարություններուն, որոնք չուրին երես, ասենք, հայտնվեցան արի հետևան 44 սորիայի ընթացքին եղած որոշումներուն և աշուշտ մեծ թժվարություններուն ուրեմն կխավոր նվադակ ունենալով, որ աճակցի այս գազմեկերբությունը Հայաստանի և արցախի ինգնիշխանության։ from a military perspective Razmagan desangunetsi dvats that I really have to smile and say from a retired US military officer Kezhblatin osen toshagaru 
uh, generally the song events it was. Our immediate efforts resulted uh, directly from my engagement in the, the shorter for five day war in 2016. Uh, and so it's important to understand ANSI's history and my personal involvement by looking to actions uh, that uh, we engaged in in 2016. <laughs> Im Ansnagan Porsarutuna, Ye Ususoagan, Kidelik Nero Amparuma, or Inca Unetsazi Erguaza, Dasnesi Karoria Jamanak. So, if you would allow me to tell a story, he attains the two Guzak or yes, Poker Batmutum Batman, and I would hope that this story is factual. I am Shak Batmutuna Pastazi, the Vianeri Mambrae. And not a flight of fancy. I see him here by Guy Ganche. In April, in fact, April 1st, uh, of 2016, having at that time recently retired as a Major General yep, in yes, the United States Army. Uh, nor Tosha, Tosha with significant experience in what we call. Combat logistics. Toshagi Ansa Yergar Jama Dariniru Antaskin Logisticae, I think, and Razmagan Gazmagir Vadutian, Port Sarutun Amparele Yetka. And I came to Armenia on April 1st. Yes, I saw Jamanesi Abril Megin, Yergoza Dastivestiv. Really, as a tourist. I had no intention whatsoever of becoming involved in the military or political affairs of this great nation. I think I had no intention whatsoever of becoming involved in the But what happened was within hours, of my uh, uh, here in Yerevan, after a flight from, of all places, uh, Glendale, California. We call that Nagorno Glendale. Nagor, uh, Nagorno Glendale, and as a Again, retired U.S. Army general with significant experience in military logistics. I remember Borbes Toshagaru, General Bor Pavaganin Portsarutun Amparaze. No sooner had I found myself at the Opera Hotel up the street than I received a call from the Ministry of Defense. Uh, and to this day, I'm not quite sure why Minister Ohanian, at that time the uh, Minister of Defense, Contacted me. In in Of course, he called me uh, through his assistant, his secretary, his aide de camp. And I took the phone call. I was in my hotel room, and no sooner did I put the receiver to my ear, and a gentleman, his aide de camp, said, "I am Colonel. I work for." The minister 
that Lieutenant General Ohanian, and he would like to see you. Uh, yes, Vorbes uh, Oknagan, Kantabed, Baron Ohaniani, Senk Ashada Gazmi Antam, Baron Ohaniego Metsezi Karachargim, or Hantibing. And to this day, and I've thought about this, I'm not quite sure why General Ohanian reached out to me as a recent retiree on April the 1st, 2016. It was the date of the commencement of the then four or five day war with Azerbaijan's um, invasion of the borders in violation of the territorial integrity of this nation and its sister republic, Artsakh. Minch Karovia Badirazma is Kasazi Arten, Yev Harzagunner, Lanazava Harzagunner, Arten is Kasferin, Arsahi, however, the Jantem. But I suspect that uh, either information had circulated that an American general had arrived in Armenia to provide some sort of support to the government of Armenia and the government of Artsakh. Yes, Anshu Zarmatsazi, or in special Matsazi, or yes, Hayasna Jamanatim, Pastor Serevutin, Zurusner, Shachan Artyam Mech Yehazim, or Amerigasi General Mujamanazi Hayastan, a Hayastani Achaksun Sapir Lamar. That I was, to use a military term, the front leading edge of American military support directly to the Twin Republics uh, to defeat Azerbaijan at that time of invasion. That's all I can suspect. Uh, uh, but outside of the United States military attaché at that time, uh, there were no other senior military officials from the United States in this country or in Artsakh. And so, although incorrect, I believe that the ministry had come to a conclusion that I was representing the United States as a uniformed military representative to provide um, su uh, significant support to Armenia and Artsakh during that war. Uh, and so my immediate impression was that the phone call was a hoax. But the colonel who called persuaded me to hire a cab and drive out to the Armenian what we call the Armenian Pentagon or the headquarters uh, for the Armenian Armed Forces. Baron Kantabed in the Ham Garovatsam Hamozil or yes uh taxi uh varorti Michotsav uh Hastim uh I uh Garelia said Hagagam Pentagon. And as a military officer, it represented an interesting challenge. 
I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if the call was valid or again, a flight of fancy by somebody who just decided that it would be an interesting hoax on me. But it didn't turn out to be a hoax. It was uh, definitely a call from the ministry. And I found my way to the minister's office. And he introduced himself to me. And of course, I responded appropriately uh, and said, Sir, I'm honored to meet with you. But I understand that you and the military leadership, the leadership of Artsakh, are now beset by this horrific invasion. By the forces of Azerbaijan. And the minister said to me, I presume he read my autobiography. And my military resume. And he said to me, gentlemen, Carly, I understand that uh, you were a military logistician in Iraq and Afghanistan. And you have significant experience in supporting a war effort. And he said, might you be interested in going forward to Stepanakirk and coming back with an assessment of the quality of the military logistics to support the war and to win that war against Azerbaijan. Remember, took, uh, 2016. And between two military officers, I could not say no. So he offered me a land cruiser and one security uh, agent. And a few hours later, I was on my way to Stepanakirk. To assess that war specifically as to whether there was satisfactory uh, logistics, meaning everything from food for soldiers, uh, weapons, uh, ammunition, equipment, fuel. Yes, I had a routine in Maragirgit, Usumrasi, Utun, Iraganan, Senebur, 
հստակ պատկերմը ունենայինք, թե ինչպիսի նախապատրաստական աշխատանքներ պետք է ընկատարվածելալ, ասենք զինվորներուն ուդելիք են սկսած միջև պամպուշները, միջև զին տեխնիկայի պատրաստվածությունը և այլ գենսական ռազմական բիդութներ if that war lasted beyond a week. Հատգավես այն թեպքին, եթե հանգարց բադերազմը ավելի կան մեկ շապատ տեվեր։ Because professional military officers, whether from the United States, from Armenia, from Artsakh, all countries with professional militaries know that while courage, strength, honor are important in the individual soldier and in the formations, uh, the fighting formations of Armenia and Artsakh to help secure victory. Professional military, um, and I consider myself one of them, know that wars are ultimately won through logistics. Ուրեմն մինչ պարձը կնալելի է հայ զինվորների կաչությունը, խիզախությունը, սագա մենք որբես պրովեսյոնալ ռազմագան մասնակետներ, մենք կիտագից ենք, որ բադերազները գնվաջվին և լոջիստիկսի, այսինք են գեր բադրաստվածության որբես արդյունք։ Napoleon said that. I told you that Napoleon was a very And Napoleon's observation was as true in the early 19th century as it was in 2016, as it was in 2020, and it is in some current conflicts in this world, including the Ukraine. Napoleon was a very Ագնարգը, այդ մեկնապանությունը ուժի մեջ եղած է եվ տասնիր էրորդարին, եվ կսան էրորդարին, եվ ահավասիկ 2016-ին եվ 2020-ի 44-որյային, եվ նաև ուժի մեջ է ուկրանիայի բադերազմին, արդիվ։ So about 10 or 11 hours later, after a challenging drive over the Caucasus from Yerevan, I was in the Chief of Staff's office in Stepanakert with the Artsakh Army. բադերազ մգան խորուրդի հեկավարի կրասեն եգին միջ։ And after conversation in which I told the chief that my area of expertise was military logistics. Ես հեկավարին բարձեցի իմ մասնակիտության պնույթը, որբես ռազմագան լոջիստիկայի He also asked me. He also asked me to do an assessment of whether the Artsakh army could last beyond a week. Ուրեմն ռազմական բեդը ինձ առաջատ առաջատրանք ներգացուց, որ ես ուսումնասիրություն կատարեմ եւ իրեն ներգացնեմ իմ մասնակիտական գարձիկը թե արդյոք արցախի պանակը գարողանա թիմանալ մեկ շապատ, ավելի կան մեկ շապատ։ Now I have to tell you, I was extraordinarily proud and elated to personally acknowledge the courage of the lions of Artsakh, the soldiers of Artsakh. Ես պարձյապետք է ընդկզեմ, որ արցախի առաշնակի ձի վրայած զարավով առաշնակիզի զինվորները արդակակ խիզախոտյում ծուսապերած են, ես ադի պետք է ընդունիմ։ They were some of the most courageous, 
uh, war fighters that I had seen uh, in all the places that I either served or visited as a United States military officer. Yes, but and Kazim, I'm past the war, high war, I'm in a Hizah, but there are more Zimborne, or Yerpeve in career and Taskin, Razmagan Asparazi and Taskin, yes, Hanti Bazalam in Kurzunetian, Ampocha, Darin Rier Gankin. But I came to the conclusion after assessing Artsakh's uh, military stocks of ammunition, food, water, armament, uh, fuel, um, that Artsakh, even with the vigorous support of the Armenian armed forces, could not last beyond seven days. Sagan betke chishpano tiam arashnortuvin, pastero arashnortuvin, im usun nasu tuna madna nashetsin ayn pasta, vor arsahi panaga, bashpano tiam panaga, udeliki, vareranuti, zindeknikai, yev razmagan bidukneri, kutagman desangeneti vaz. So I made that report to the chief of staff yes, I, uh, of the Artsakh army. I also uh, later Artsakh made that report uh, to the Armenian army. But I have to say, fortunately, um, I think it was God's will that Armenia and Artsakh were able to fend off and defeat those incursions by Azerbaijan. Uh, Within five days. Uh, but more importantly, to conclude this story, it was also because, and I was sitting in the chief's office, uh, and the chief asked me to step outside his uh, office. And he told me that the Russian president at that time was right outside the door. And would I be kind enough to allow him to talk? So I was outside the office for maybe a half an hour. Yes, ir krasinegi tursa. The Russian president at that time um, had, with I think at that point uh, Vladimir Putin was the prime minister, had concluded a truce. A ceasefire between Azerbaijan and Armenia in Artsakh, and the war stopped. If I buy in the Rigatsavu, Rusastani Rigavaru, Tunigaro, Vasazi, Zinatatar, Iraganatsnil, Zinatatari, Giraperi, Hamasanaki, and that was fortunate because it was my conclusion. If I did Parepa to Tunel, or if him Yezaka to Tunel that the outcome, if the war had lasted beyond those five days, would not have been favorable to either of the twin republics. Because of the difficulties of logistics, and the weapon systems that were possessed 
both by Artsakh and Armenia. So both chiefs thank me. I left Armenia the 6th of April, or over. And then I began to write about these issues of logistics, not the quality of the soldier. Yes, I I Because I saw, for instance, with weapon systems, that at that time, this is 2016, Azerbaijan, not Armenia, not Artsakh, was using uh, drones, the beginnings of cyber warfare, uh, and other more advanced military techniques and equipment systems that neither Artsakh nor Armenia possessed or had any interest at that time in purchasing. Yes, I am going to so to advance forward for four years, uh, to September of 2020, the Azeris again invaded. And your viewers clearly realized and remember what took place. And most of the criticism of the 44-day war related to logistics and the quality of the weapon systems that both republics had failed to acquire, yet the Azeris had gone forward, bought drones, bought um, cyber systems, and used those to huge and valuable uh, effect and prevailed in that conflict because, frankly, failure of logistics on this side. Uh, Gibir Artiagan Zindertekan. So the Azeris were fighting a 21st century asymmetric digital war, and the Armenians and Artsakh in the 44 day war both were fighting a World War II type of campaign. Uremen Azerbaijan Karasun Chorsoriain. So as somebody who admired the courage and the sacrifices of the Armenians uh, and those war fighters, the courageous war fighters of Artsakh, frankly, my heart was ripped apart. Uh, Gudor Gudor Yehav Yep Desa at Anhavasar Grive Teguz Aganadesira Annachen Tatski Zahutian Ev Kachutian Heisimburin. Now, while I couldn't get back into Artsakh during the 2020 war because of decisions made uh, by both Artsakh 
and Armenia. Uh, Shortly after the conclusion of that war, we founded ANSI, the American Armenian National Security Institute. Teguzis Badrastagam a Kurzuvenu Artsakh, Karasun Chosu Ejamanak, Sagan Artsakhi, Ajamanak Varega Varutian Borushumo by the Kurzu Vazituna Shiragan Artsakh. For the purpose, humbly, of working cooperatively with Armenia and Artsakh to help uh, in designing, in development, purchasing uh, of weapon systems and as well uh, advancing military tactics so that the twin republics could fight a war much more effectively and with dynamic and positive impact, a war of 21st century in the 21st century rather than a war that had been fought in 1944 and 45, for instance, as represented uh, by um, the war on the Eastern Front between them, the Soviet Union, and Germany. Himnagan na badak unenalo vor AANSI gazme gerbutuna ususovagan yev masnaki dagan ir dergutunero oktagar alla haygagan zuik harabidutunerun vor ger badras vazutun iraganasinen yev kesamme gurur tari vayel gam arjanik uneso. Razmagan Badras Vazutam, Mren Baderazmere, Yevoshe Hazena Karasunagan Rumanasat Zenkero. And I must say that uh, our founders and our supporters, at first only Armenian Americans, and then later Armenians from various parts of the disaster, diaspora, uh, define the mission define the mission in three or with three lines of activity or effort. For the purpose of enhancing and safeguarding the security and sovereignty of the twin republics. And supporting, as a result, the emerging democracy as exhibited by Armenia, the only real functioning democracy in this part of the world. Kurzunia, Yev Kurzu, Senk Artunape, Jovort Havaragan, Hamagarkane, and Posta Raskashanimich. And first and foremost, we, ANSI, are absolutely not political. We don't support any political party. The sole intent of our organization, as it raises money throughout the world, is for those objectives protecting the sovereignty and supporting emerging democracy. Uremen <laughs> 
Haygagan etmiş Hanutun. So they use military terms. We have three courses of action. Razmagan desan günen tidvaz mek edabın tenk yeri kılhavur kurdun etken arazk. That's what we've been doing over the last three years. Yev ayda vur mek giragan atsın enk arten ansınov yereklar bana taskin. And to be brief, number one is education. Usutsun. And so we are now embedded with the Ministry of Defense and we provide instruction uh, through retired uh, U.S. Uh, military officers. Uh, for me, I insist that they're general officers or admirals of, and we are now teaching at NDRU, the National Defense Research University. American Panagi Parcel Senk Magartagi Espaneru General Neru Toshagaru General Neru Masnaked Neru Usut Sogagan Kurzune Etune Hama Kurzakutyan Hayastani Hanabirutyan Başmanutyan Nakararutyan Yev Dramatrelo Tasaduner Irenz Masnakedutyan Ziren Nerz Aygagan Askayin Razmagan Hedazolagan Hamar Sarane Hamar. As that senior military institution, educational institution in this country, under the extraordinary leadership of Tavar Tavaratsian, Major General Tavaratsian. Aye. Uremen ait Ashkadan ke Ususolagan, Ashkadan ke Menkiragan Asning, yer Hamar Bedutyan, Amena Parcel. Garki Razmagan Hamar Sarayeners, Rega Varutyan Nerko, Lav Ujer Garovutyan Der, Zoravar General Tavarasiani Rega Varutyan. As he and his senior professors are transforming the Armenian Army from an army of the 20th century to an army at the cutting edge of military tactics, an army that can win and prevail in the 21st century. Uremen ays tasadunere geydabunten xist garevor şırca tarçayin kidelik neru miçotsav iraganatsinel norma gartak terilov razmagan unagutyan. Number two, course of action, as we talked about, military term. Yegrurt korzunetyan aranska is to provide Philanthropic support, charitable support. Uremen Martha Siragan, Achak Jun, Nergasnil, Dramatrel. The wounded warriors, the heroes of the armies of Armenia and Artsakh. So we support the military hospital. Achak Jun, Dramatrelo, Viravorvat Zimvornerun, Oktin, Yev Arten Artsakhi Razmagan Hevantarotsin. To help those warriors resuming something that equates to a decent life in the civilian world here in Armenia and Artsakh. Arjaniye, of course, I have, to, I have to say that as a result of what has taken place on that corridor, we can't even access Stepanakert uh, any longer, can't even send funds. Sagayim Savisir, at Michansky, Lachini Michansky, Pagman Artiv, Mer Arakilutuna, at Uvutyamp, and the third course of action, again, military term, is what brought us here today because of your invitation, and that is the creation of the Humanitarian Support Brigade. Kareli Barza Panel, or Gvera Peri, Arachina Kamalalov, Hayastani Achakusian, Martasiragan Brigadai Gazma Gazma Gerluma. This is not 
a military organization <laughs> per se. <laughs> and nobody who is a member of the brigade uh, is a soldier. Uh, but their training, which they are undergoing as we speak right now, in a great training area at Eregatz. Arakazi is to be able to respond and capable of supporting Armenian and if the corridor is reopened, Artsakh civilian authorities to respond. And, and provide medical assistance, disaster recovery, and civilian logistics such as food, water, and and restoration of civilian infrastructure, such as your electric grid. It's, uh, you're right, that's the absolute right term. It's a response and recovery to both natural disasters like floods, um, the earthquakes, fires, those are natural disasters. Or man-made disasters. And we all know those man-made disasters, that's war. To coordinate, cooperate, help under the auspices of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, the um, Emergency Services Department. So right now we are training the first group, cohort, to use another military term, of about a little less than, uh, a little above 40. Um, most all are Armenian, Armenian-American. We have French Armenian. Uh, we've got Canadian Armenians. Uh, we have Spanish, Ukrainian. Spanish uh, Ukrainian Armenians. I must have missed uh, two or Georgian three Armenians. Georgian Armenians who love the motherland from seven different countries. Seven different countries. And they are prepared. They will be trained. I hope they get through the difficult training that we're putting them through right now. Sort of like boot camp. Uh, as qualified medics uh, uh, response and rescue experts uh, and highly qualified technicians in the restoration of communications 
և բարձր մագարթագի մասնակետներ վերագանքնելու հաղորդակցության միջոցները and rebuilding of the motherland as a result of either man-made or natural disasters վերագանքնելու մայր հայրենիքը այդ ասենք աղետներու հետևանքներու վերացման աշխատանքներու շնորհիվ and we do this humbly մենք այս գրադարենք խոնարհությամբ with the support cooperation and direction զորացությամբ ղեկավարությամբ եւ ասենք համագործակցությամբ of the ministry of internal affairs ներքին գործոնախարարությամբ so that brings us to i know i was long winded but it was very important that i tell the story because if i didn't tell the complete story none of it would make sense yes kidagets em vor kichmi yegar khosetsa bats betke ampochagan batkeretse ziner gats etashki er bavakani it was very interesting pan general mr general duk havanavar kitek vor hayastani hayastan bazmativ telerov kapvats er rusastan het ait nayev ait tven nayev avtanga is connected in many ways with russia իսկ բանակը կարելի ասել նույն խորհրդային միության տարիներ շարունակ եղել է սովետական բանակի գրեթե կրկնօրինակված տեսակը կառավարման համակարգով իր բարքերով անդերց Եվ խնդիրները հենց այդ դրան այդ տեղից սկսվել են արդյոք ռեալ է որ դուք տեսնում եք հնարավորություններ որ մի օր կարող է հայաստանը վերափոխվել հայաստանի բանակը վերափոխվել եւ ռուսականից անցում կատարել դեպի արևմտյան արդեն ընթացքի մեջ է especially among the younger officers հատկապես երդասար սպաների մոտ the new colonels նոր քնտաբետներին who have spent time not only in russia at the command and general staff college in moscow but have also seen themselves in my college the united states army war college and with our input we are offering these new minds these new warriors their newly emerged warrior leaders of armenia yerdasar spanere of ker voch mian rusagan parsakun razmagan parsakun varjaranner hajakhazen ayl nayev mich mer zrus entatski meche gehajakhen nayev im yergri razmagan parsak institutner a way forward that we and other uh transformational leaders in the armenian armed forces see as an opportunity to ensure once again the sovereignty of the twin republics the solidity of the borders and the protection of the hard fought and hard won uh democratic institutions that we now see are emerging in this country The only country that exhibits anything even close to uh, democracy is that term is understood uh, in other parts of the world. Այս փոլորը գգադարվի եւ բետ գգադարվի հոգուտ հայաստանի հողային ապողջականության սուվերենիտի ինքնիշխանության եւ հոգուտ քաղաքացիական փարեգեցության։ And 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 frankly um there is no one and no institution in armenia that has refused to assist as we are providing capability to respond to those man made and natural disasters we don't get involved in politics we offer a capability mek urakhenk haytnelu vor hayastani ghegavar shorchanaknere nakhar նախաբես նշված նախարարությունների դեպքին բազրասական բազրասականություն ցուցաբերեցին համագործակցելու որ մենք կարողանանք այս նախաձեռնությունը իր իսկական արժանի ընթացքի մեջ տնելու հոգուտ հայաստանի եւ հայկական զույգ հարաբերություն We're going to graduate the first 
on Friday if they survive. I say that humorously. Yete mev masnagistere humanitar brigadai antamnere garoganan timana yev vogch bunar gadago hanakov gese. Men kurpador irens uremen we welcome you and your film crew to come out to Aragats um, at the reservoir, and some very, very interesting training takes place. We're training civilians to become highly effective rescuers. Or Berazvin, parts of Magartagi, parts of Rurak, Pergarar professional Nero. We're training them to respond to fires. A mink Narank Narans Naka Badrasting, or Arsagan, Zankavazain, Hertehin, Yegra Sharjin, Flood, Cherheri, Hedevant Neri Berazman. And once again, what we do not like to address. Yes, uh, wars and casualties uh, and injuries sustained by our soldiers and civilians during war. Between Kazil or American Haikagan Askain Abu Dantan Institute, watch Kusak Sagane, a watch me get near Kakagan Saint Yankin Chimas. We support no political party. I'm just a simple soldier, retired soldier, who in a very small way wants to help. And I should say specifically, uh, our objective is to deliver to the Ministry of Internal Affairs 500 trained personnel from around the diaspora. diaspora. Brigade Antamir, when Gamavur Brigade Antamir, during times of Betias Hargeras Barakain, Uremen Physica Bes de Apokulu Hayasta. During times of terrible um, natural disasters, such as a fire earthquake, which has uh, beset Armenia several times in the last hundred years, uh, or during war, Uremen Ardegat, Iravijak Neri Jamanak, we get. Those five. We get those 500 and hopefully 600, 1,000, 5,000 over time. If we continue this, we will continue this. At the direction of the government, who will find themselves as quickly as possible of care I set the goal at 96 hours from the disaster physical as in Hayastan the Zevnats, Zevnats, and be prepared to deploy at the direction of the government. Ayev patrastagam alan degapo kulu fizika bez degapo kulu Hayastan ayn bahen askesial yer astarar tune gadervi Hayastani betutyan nergash nergume. It's been uh, my pleasure to speak with you and your team and describe what we hope and we believe will be a valuable asset and capability to countries that we love. Ureman kase mer modetsuma mer ser gaitne hante phagegan betaganotyan yev anor zovortin. And I'll make this short. We provide trained response to the natural or man-made disaster. What I saw uh, both in 2016 and in the 2020 war is that, for instance, in Nagorno-Glendale, 
Armenians <laughs> That's why the humanitarian support brigade. So I thank you. I thank you. 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 Mark Makarinesh in Zoknet Zeruitsa Varelnaev, Institute Institutti Hamahim Nadish, Abo Chaparjana, Shnakalsun, Kandipen Karajan.